Good morning, folks. Friday morning. It's been uh, it's been a long week in, in a great way. I was on vacation through Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, thirty we Thursday, we did a training class. It, it was the best training class we have done. A great group of people. Uh, really felt good about it. I, I really enjoy them. They're also it's a lot to teach for three straight days. Is is for sure a lot, and then. You know, the it's tough to be away from a lot of your normal work for three days, totally admit. So it's something I think about going forward. How does that all jive together? Uh, I wanted to follow up on our video on Fusion 360. I'll put a link in the video description to the forum thread. To me, this the, in the conversation is, seems to have gone off topic, you know, about what Fusion 360 is and isn't. And first of all, look, it's not hobby software, N not at all. It's just not, it's way better, way more advanced, especially the CAD. It has major shortcomings like drawing sync. Uh, they'll get fixed. I, I don't have a problem with any of that. I have a problem with um, understanding, again, th this whole question of access to your data. And it looks like there's a solution, which is pretty awesome. The team did an awesome job. They responded. The head of Fusion 360 wrote a very long response. And one of those options in that response is offline files, which is it sounds like exactly what I want, which is awesome. So a big thank you to them. I think it's great that they handled it that way. I want to push them, I think, to go that direction if I understand it and have that conversation. But this idea that you can choose what files you want that are synced to a local directory, that means if my internet goes down, if my cloud goes down and so forth, um, I'm okay or better than okay. Folks have started to tell, try to tell us that you know you need to accept being down, and it's kind of like, well, I ran a shop for seven years where I never was down because you know we had power outages. I had a little battery backup. Um, we had, which by the way, only for the computer. I don't have one generated for the mill. Um, and I, when a computer crashed or hard drive crashed, yeah, it took me at least a half an hour, maybe a little longer to get up another computer. But I had that. It wasn't that expensive or that cumbersome to do. Whereas now, if the cloud is down or my internet is down, um, I can't control that. There's there's no way I can control that. So so good things to come from that. Thank you, uh, Kevin and the Fusion 360 team for the response. Let's keep that conversation going. I want to push that there. Um, we have a lot going on. I really want to get through. I'm going to California next week for the Bar Z Summer Bash. Other than that, it is go time. There's so many little videos and projects that I think I've what we're gonna get through. I wanna test some of these lathe tooling, that stuff that came in. Carl from Lakeshore just sent us a new end mill that's, that's not secret, but not to be shared yet, which I'm excited to test. Um, Adam Booth sent me some viewer mail, and he sent this letter saying, I don't think you get a lot of viewer mail. So he, he found these uh, slide rules at a, actually for rifle reloading stuff at a um, one of his, um, old flea markets and I thought they were really cool they're kind of retro looking so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but Adam thank you and somewhat coincidentally uh, we got some viewer mail this is from a guy named Tim um, so Tim thank you very much he actually took one of our classes he's a younger guy an aspiring machinist and um, although frankly I wouldn't use the word aspiring because he did a great job on this Turner cube he sent some photos of it I think set up a little base for it and then look at this pen folks this is awesome um, just absolutely awesome. So Tim, thank you. But more importantly, that's a great segue for tying in with this question of what am I doing and, and why do I do it? Um, and I kind of had a low point this week. I found on Reddit some comments about our channel that said, you know, I used to watch John back in New York City. He was interesting now. He's just running around. He doesn't know what he's doing. His, his finishes stink. Um, and you know, sometimes that stuff's it stings. I'd like to, I'd like to think that I'm thick skinned, but it stings. But here's the thing: you think back to why you do what you do. Um, I, it's something I frankly wish I spent more time doing sometimes. But I don't care about those comments because here's what I'm here to do. I'm here to show you guys that that I made it. I got here. You know. Yeah, I still use Tormach machines. That's a whole other conversation. Yes, we're still in the market. Uh, I, I really really want to talk about that really soon. But. Um, the point is learning the skill sets, learning the confidence, learning the whole, the picture, not just CAM, not just CAD, not just tooling, but everything. And trying to mix in now some of the business side of things. I want to talk about how we got to where we are. And I want to be clear, no, it wasn't just 
running a job shop. I think job shopping can be great. I think it's hard. I think it's difficult to scale. And I don't think it's a get rich quick, probably not even a get rich slow way to do it. But for us, machining is just part of what we do as a bigger picture. But um, when I see those comments about, you know, about, you know, oh, if you had a better machine, you'd do better. That's probably true. And it's something, again, we're going to talk about later. But I love... I think what we've done, which is trying to help inspire you guys to see the confidence to, to tackle these things. And when you're ready to move on to bigger machines or bigger capabilities or so forth, awesome. Um, so, so yeah, um, we are going to be at the Tormach Open House next month, the end of July. Link in the video description. I am excited for this because, again, they're spinning it more as a sense of learn, not just like an open house, but I do really care about Tormach, and here's why. Um, there's a guy who used to be part of a major VMC manufacturer who had come out with a machine design for a new style machine at the same sort of level. Pretty interesting thing, but here's the thing. you you It doesn't work when it's just a machine. You've got to build a whole company around it, and that's what I'm really proud of Tormach is, you know, Yes, the machines are, there's some weak spots to them, especially as you get into higher production or you really need those crazy tolerances like John Grimswell. I'm ready to admit that. On the flip side, we do some great work on them, have done some great work, and they're awesome, especially for the value. But also, it's not just the machine. It's the company behind it. So the open house, I think, is a great way to see that Tormach has this awesome facility. They have R&D, they've got support, they've got the back office. And it's kind of one of those things that came up because this guy has built this other machine and it hasn't gone anywhere because I think he's just trying to shop the design um, to somebody else because it's not just about the PCNC 1100 or the 770 or the 440. It's about the fact that you've got to have a whole company built around it for the post-sale support, for servicing, for supply. You know, Tormox got persons, people in the factories that help do the QC. So. Um, Come if you want to meet us, hang out. There's going to be some really cool free workshops like how to maintain your, your mill, uh, work holding, lathe tooling, Fusion 360 cam, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, John Grimsel and I had a good talk this morning and he wants me to go watch one of his Grimsel Grinds number 26, uh, which I think talks a little bit about both of us. And I told him, okay, let me do the chip break first. And I think he said that will probably change my chip break. So I may film a second one here and talk about it. But I do want to say thank you, folks. Um, as we sort of, I'm sort of calling this now like my my dividing line. You know, we're in the new shop. I just got through that open house, the training class. I've got a little bit of traveling coming up, but now is when I want to, you know, get back into the Arduino stuff. Some parts are coming today, um, and really try to think about what am I trying to do um, with this YouTube channel, with this business, and, and hopefully share that some of that story with you guys. So again, thank you. Um, some video links again on the Fusion 360 forum post. I'd encourage you to comment on that if you also feel that offline files would be helpful. Um, yeah, take care. See you soon.